Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. So the cards have already been shuffled. Let's get right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of August 2018. So your first card, how you will be communicating um, for the month of August, you have the you have the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords as a communication card, this could be that you're a little bit more reserved for the month of August, a little bit more... <sighs> Let me see, I'm getting different messages. So for some of you guys, it could represent that in the month of August, if not already, you may be experiencing some type of hurt or betrayal from a friend or someone that was extremely close to you. Uh, this has not to do with relationships. This is more to do, I feel, with your inner circle so it could represent uh, that you caught somebody talking bad about you when in fact they were your friend or you thought they were your friend uh, this could also represent someone trying to be sneaky and take a position that perhaps you've been working towards um, or wanting um, this is definitely uh, you know again like I said sneakiness type of behavior but I feel that this is more on the level of you being a bit of an introvert for the month of August, a little a little bit more to yourself, a little bit more standoffish, this could be because you currently are experiencing this or you have been experiencing this and slowly but surely cutting or uh, minimizing your inner circle, your social circle with friends and stuff like that. So um, I definitely see you guys again, like I said, a little bit more reserved, a little bit more to yourself. Um, enjoy, you know, enjoying time to yourself and giving yourself a lot of love and self-care which is definitely a good thing um now for for the earth element uh your finances you have the three of swords so the three of swords ugh, okay so the three of swords could represent um in regards to finances it could be that you guys are currently struggling in regards to finances in regards to uh your money um, this could be struggling in the sense of not or feeling like you don't have enough. This could also represent a bit of sadness or depression, something that is connected to your finances. Uh, for some of you guys, unfortunately, it could represent that you find out uh, that your partner has been double dealing or dealing with other people and it's starting to affect your finances. It's starting to affect you going to work, um, you being able to focus, etc. It's It's kind of like... Um, it's a domino effect. I feel that uh, for some of you guys, um, in fact, if you guys are dealing with heartbreak, um, it's quickly spiraling down in the sense of you're mentally, physically and spiritually drained. Um, and it's affecting every single area in your life at the present time. If you guys are dealing with this, just know and understand. Um, I know this is this is not an easy energy. I feel it very, very heavy. But know and understand that through this process, whether it's good, when we go through good things and abundance and success, it's definitely a beautiful thing. But it also teaches us um, to be grateful, to have gratitude. When we go through difficulties, it is only then that we truly, genuinely appreciate everything we had or everything that at some point in time um, was given very much of to us um, and perhaps we didn't appreciate that um, through difficulties through strive it makes our character stronger it makes us more centered it brings us more you know grounded and more than anything it gives us the strength and the courage to be able to take on uh, and continue life understand and know this if you are currently going through depression I highly encourage meditation as this is not an easy type of energy and I feel that there is a lot of grounding needed for you guys, uh, Taurus, for the month of August. Now, in regards to your challenge for the month of August, you have, oh, what's going on, Taurus? You have the Knight of Swords. So we have a lot of swords energy. You guys are very mental, going through a lot of mental blockages. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be experiencing blockages, um, if you feel stuck or if you feel like you've been in struggling with something for quite a while now, you need to step back, take a deep breath and see things from a different perspective. A lot of the times when we are so wrapped up into that moment, into, in, into that energy, into what's happening, 
in the now we're so connected to it that we don't see anything else other than that which is the lack of or if you guys are currently going through difficulties in regards to relationships you cannot see any other escape other than what's happening in the now because you're so close to the situation so sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away and take some time to yourself take a deep breath meditate surrender to this process to be able to come out at the end of the tunnel um and be able to see things on a very different perspective on a very different scale so again i highly encourage you guys to do that for the month of august if you are in fact currently going through this um again like i said as a challenge the knight of swords definitely speaks about forceful type of energy or arguments petty arguments uh this could be dealing with an immature type of energy this could be a relative this could be a brother this could be a sister um just being spiteful and just you know a lot of backstabbing going on because i definitely do see i mean we have the seven of swords the three of swords and the knight of swords so this is like stalking energy this is like if you recently had a falling out with a relative or something like that because they were being spiteful, because they were being ungrateful, whatever the situation was, I definitely see them looking into your social media and stuff like that. But again, I don't see it. I don't see that they like if they try to reach out with uh, to you guys for the month of August, I don't see that they've matured or they learned from that lesson. I feel that they're just trying to get close to you again because they're trying to know what's going on in your life, maybe because uh, they've been trying to look you up and they just, you have them blocked or whatever it is. But again, um, for the month of August, I want to encourage you tourists out there that are currently going through this or that have been feeling this shift, detach yourselves from negative energy, whether it's a father, whether it's a mother, whether it's a brother, a sister, friends, I understand that some, you know, we love them and we want to be there for them. But if they are dragging us, if they are like throwing you through the mud, dragging you through the mud, just being so immature, walk away from that, you know, walk away from that and let go of that. It's not your calling to teach them their lessons. You need to worry about your lessons and your life in the now and stop focusing on trying to be the savior. Sometimes you can't save people. And even if you try they don't want to change. They're just going to drag you along. So walk away from that, Taurus. Now, in regards to love and romance, you have the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles could be representing your energy, Taurus. And again, if you currently did go through some type of betrayal, some type of ending in regards to relationships, know and understand that you did everything you possibly could um, do not feel regret. Do not feel like you could have done something different to change the outcome. Again, like I said, some people just don't want to learn. Uh, you can give a person multiple opportunities in regards to love and romance. And, you know, if they just keep letting you down, you need to turn that page. Like now, let go. Stop holding on to trying to save people. You can't. And that's just a fact. They have to want change from within to be able to change. Um, now, for others of you, it could represent a father figure or it could represent an earth, another earth sign, which would be a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. And I feel that for the month of August, um, this could be a relative or this could be your partner. In fact, if it is your partner, again, like I said, I feel that there is cheating involved, definitely, because we have the three of swords here, uh, some type of betrayal. Um, if this is not your scenario, but it's connecting in regards to family and the family dynamic or friends that you've been cutting off and stuff like that, you may be going towards an earth sign um, for advice or they could be almost like the person that they can, they keep, they're there for you and they're being genuine in comforting you and trying to give you the strength to be able to get yourself and put yourself back together again. Um, I definitely feel that this is a very loving type of energy towards you or that they're trying the best they can to guide you. Um, and again, if this is your partner and he, he or she is an earth sign, I feel that there's going to be a lot of remorse um, in the month of August for them. Again, like I said, I feel that they may come around and try to communicate with you again if that's the, if that's, you know, if that's what happens. My suggestion is if you've given them more than one opportunity, like a second opportunity, even a third, like just don't 
stop giving your forgiveness so quickly. Um, you, it, it's almost like get a glass and, and break it. No matter if you glue it and put it back together, you're never going to have it the way it was when it was one, when it was in oneness, when it was together. So it's time to let go and turn that page, Taurus. Now for your spirit's advice for the month of August 2018, you have a judgment card. So the judgment card is, again, my dear Taurus, what's going on with you guys? The judgment card definitely speaks about a person from the past coming back to you or trying to communicate, trying to mend the fences. My suggestion is do not waste your time. If you've given them more than one opportunity, walk away from that. It's not serving you in any shape, way, or form. And also for spirit's advice, what, what this card is telling you is the judgment has already been made. Whether this person was good to you or whether this person was extremely bad for you, you know who they are. What are you going to do? Are you going to continuously keep forgiving them and instead of helping them, are you going to continuously excuse their behavior or are you going to walk away from that which no longer is serving you and continuously keeps making a blockage for yourself it's almost like you're refusing to let go or you're refusing to learn the lessons and you keep giving these opportunities to people that are not worthy of you love yourself Taurus love yourself respect yourself and know your self-worth know exactly what it is that you bring to the table and do not settle for anything less let them match what you're bringing into this relationship, what you're bringing into your friendship, what you're bringing in towards, you know, to your family, to your friends, and let them match that, the effort, let them match it. If they don't, then don't even try. Walk away from that and let it go. So for the month of August, I feel that there's going to be a lot of endings for Taurus in regards to relationships, in regards to friendships, in regards to things that do not serve us anymore understand and know that we do have again i've been telling you guys all this year saturn is in capricorn and there's definitely a major shift happening right now with a lot of signs a lot of people are experiencing this a lot of exes coming back a lot of people from the past coming back it doesn't mean that they're coming back because it's like the universe no it just means that there was things that were left undone that we need to finish to be able to relinquish that let go and move forward so I highly encourage you guys to really, really just love yourself, Taurus. Like, love yourself. Know your worth and do not settle for anything less. Sending you guys all my light and love. I hope that this helps and resonates with some of you guys and it helps you guide you towards a better, towards a better perspective, towards a better path than what we've seen. And I genuinely hope that you guys are able to find your own light. Light and love to all of you guys, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.